It's our A to Z of Beacon Productions. And B is for Beacon Productions. So Steve, why is it called Beacon Productions? Well, I lived in a road called Beacon Bottom and I had two choices. Do I call it Bottom Productions or do I call it Beacon Productions? And I thought Bottom had the wrong ring about it, so I went for Beacon Productions. So how did the club come about? Uh, it just started with me running around after my family with an audio recorder, having written script to say, please, would you be in my little play? Because uh, I've been writing the scripts like for Stephen Brown and that since I was eight, so I've always been into this sort of thing. But it wasn't really Beacon. Beacon was just a name I slapped on this Stephen Brown series. It took about six years for us to first have our socials uh, where people actually got together. In the early days, they were all dotted around in different places, like we had a load of people in Portsmouth, Bognor Regis here, who never even met. And it was the social scene that started to form the club. And then, really, the club feel of it evolved. If you've never actually been a part of a club, how do you join it exactly? Good question, because we don't really advertise. We have advertised in the past, and we got some rather odd people turn up so um, normally it's word of mouth so and so would like to act so and so son is really into this or somebody comes along and they just like we're just gonna make a cup of tea and we've also recruited technical people from the local universities and colleges as well uh, you yourself you joined uh, how did you join I joined for an advert for a local university so I won't take it as an insult that the weirdos will come for adverts <laughs> but uh, yeah yeah, eccentric maybe, but not weird. <laughs> yeah. It was an internship for you, wasn't it? Yeah, a paid internship. How is Beacon funded? Normally through subs. Uh, we don't charge a lot of subs, actually. Uh, it's between 15 and £25 a year. The more you pay, the more you get back out of it. Um, and that helps us keep going each year. And then obviously filming is a really expensive thing. The microphones and the cameras, they're not cheap. So every so often we do uh, a lottery grant appeal or fundraising. Um, and the more recent one we got our black magic camera was paid through from the local council and the local council have been very supportive over the years to Beacon uh, because we are a real voluntary club we have take all ages all backgrounds and so on uh, and we also do our own fundraising things like our casino evenings and our barbecues and so on. So how exactly do you think the club has evolved over the years? It's really weird because in the early days it was small, it was a family, um, but once the social calendar started up and we started meeting up and the regular filming, and I would say the late 90s and 2000s, we went probably over the top with the amount of filming. We did a ridiculous amount of stuff and we were on the local TV as well. It was never going to last forever and then when we finished the Stephen Brown series it quietened down a lot to now being, I feel like, a um, very manageable club where it's not so commitment heavy, members can come and go and do little bits and pieces. Uh, has definitely, uh, the durability of the club has definitely been extended because of that. What are the high points and low points of the club for you? The high points is definitely the members. I've made so many friends through this club uh, and I've also seen a lot of people make great friendships through the club which is brilliant to see a really good social event. Uh, we've had some real fun times over the years. Um, there's so many high points. Low points, as with any club, it's apathy. It's trying to get people involved. It's, it's frustrating sometimes because people join to be in a video group and then a few months later you say, right, we've got your part in a video production and they're almost like affronted by the fact you've asked them. You're like, what do you think this is? And that can be really frustrating and sometimes you send out emails for social events or to get people involved and it's just this black wall of nothing replies. But it's never personal. It's never a personal thing from anyone. People are just busy and from what I hear, all clubs have the same issue. The fact that we've been going for 35 years, we must be doing something right. And how long do you think the club will go on for? I've no idea. I gen generally have no idea. I didn't think it would make 10 years. When it got past 10 years, I'm like, I think we can get to 20. Uh, it's now on 35 years. That's just crazy. And if it ended then, well, it's been, it hasn't been a failure, is it? It's, it's done really well. I feel because we're doing recruitment coming up and we've got a lot of productions, that we probably will make 40 years. That's just amazing achievement. Um, and we could go even longer than that, but who knows? It just depends on so many things. I, I would always say from the day you ask, 
there's always, because of productions going on, the editing and socials, there's always 18 months you can add on to it. So um, who knows, Giorgio? We might be still here another 20 years' time. <laughs> Let's hope so. Yeah.